Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Thor Freedom Elite 23H. This is a great shorter Class C, really nice traveler, great for getting into some of those smaller areas. Let's start off right over here on the jump seat. Uh, this is a nice comfortable jump seat. The cool thing about this is it still helps you with your living space because obviously even when you are parked, it's still a, a good seat to be able to sit in and have a conversation with anyone that is sitting in the dinette. You'll also notice that it does have a seat belt, so it is a legal seat for riders as well. Directly above that, you have a window here for some natural light. LED light above that, you'll have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which are nice because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Uh, this coach we're looking at has the Brazilian cherry wood in here. It's the darker of the two colors. And then you have the base side interior, which is what you see on the valances right here. When I open this up, you'll see it is strut supported. Nice, easy one hand operation. This is your Blu-ray player right here, which is great. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop a Blu-ray right into there. And that is hooked up to your 40 inch TV. That TV is on a swivel arm mount, so you can go ahead and swing that out so you have a great view from you know, uh, bed or if you're sitting in the dinette here. Or if someone is sleeping up here, you can leave it at the foot of the bed just like it is. But I like they built this on a shelf so you do have room for more auxiliary equipment if you want to put something else in there. As we take a look at the cab over here, one of the things I really like they do is this right here. And that's you have this nice soft touch on here. Not only does this uh, look great and also it has a, a really cool feel to it, but also it's easy cleanup. So if someone is sitting here and they have a soda and it accidentally spills, you can just wipe it right off, which I really do like. The other cool thing about the cab over, this is a 500 pound weight capacity. A lot of manufacturers out there only have like 250 to 350 pound weight capacity, which with someone like myself, you know, you have two people up there, you really are pushing those limits. So by having the 500, uh, you know, you can feel a lot safer having two people sleep up here, at least two adults. Uh, you'll also notice this right here, this is rubber. The reason I like that is if you, you know, you go down and then again, soft touch right here. So as you're going into the cab, if you bump your head right here, it's not going to, you know, leave a big welt. You're not going to cut your forehead, anything like that. Uh, you know, because sometimes you do in the class C's, you know, you kind of go to, kind of go to get down. You may bonk your head, same thing when getting back up. So I do like the fact that it's padded. The bed in the cab over is really easy to make up as well. All I have to do is take this center cushion, drop it right down in, and then you'll see you have your little connection points here for your ladder, so that way you can easily climb in up here. And then if we take a look over to the side, you'll actually notice right up here you have a couple cup holders there, which that's really nice too, so that way if people are sleeping up here and they need to have a glass of water, they can set it right in there. And as I previously mentioned, you can see right here that 500 pound weight capacity, which is really nice. The other thing I really like about this bunk over though is let's say you, know, you don't plan on having any guests. Maybe it's just yourself or two of you and you want extra storage. What you can do is you can actually completely remove uh, the side panels here. You can remove the bed cushions, leave them at home in your garage. You have awesome extra storage up here. So I really like that. I think that's uh, really neat. It gives you a lot more versatility in a Class C than what you can normally have. If we take a look at the cab portion itself, this is the Ford E350 chassis. You see you have uh, some cup holders there in the center, which for me is always very important. You have to have a place to put your coffee, water, anything else you need there. Uh, as far as the dash, this is a touch screen, which is really nice. Uh, it's nice and easy to use here. You can see, you know, just like so. It also has a lot of different uh, inputs. You have your USB import, uh, input here, auxiliary input. You also see micro SD card slot. This unit is Bluetooth capable. Then over to the side here, you'll notice you have a USB charger plug-in as well as HDMI. This is actually a really cool feature because what you can do is you can take your cell phone, take a cable from your phone into that HDMI port and it will have screen mirroring. What that allows you to do and the reason I would use it is for GPS. Personally, I use Google Maps for everything. It has real-time uh, updating. I just love it. So all you have to do is plug your phone right into there, mirrors on the screen, you are good. Uh, also, you see you have a couple other connections. You have your 12-volt plugs here too. So if you have to plug it, you know, plug your cell phones and stuff in, that way you can certainly do that as well. Making our way back a little further, right here is the dinette. Uh, you know, not only is this a great place to sit, nice and comfortable here, you can also have two riders right over here. If I remove the uh, cushion, you can see the seatbelts right there, so two extra seatbelts there. 
which is nice. And then, you know, when you're not using the seat belts, that cushion, uh, you know, pretty much hides them there. They have cutouts in the seat, the bottom of the seats too, which I really like. That way they're not, you know, forced or jammed down in there. Then if you need to drop this down into a bed, it is very simple to do that as well. It's a dream dinette. So if you've never seen one before, basically if you look right underneath here, you'll see there's a little lever. All you have to do is simply flip this lever over like so. That will allow you to push the bed down. So you'll remove these, you know, kind of lift these cushions up, push that bed down. Then you'll take these back cushions, put them on top. That will create your sleeping space. Uh, you'll also notice you have two cup holders right here, which is nice. So, you know, that way if you do have riders or maybe you're just sitting there, you have a place to put your beverages. Nice big window here too, lets in a lot of natural light during the day there. A couple LED lights right up top, you can see those. You'll also notice you have an electrical outlet up here. So if you have to uh, plug in like a laptop or, lap or a uh, tablet, something like that, you can plug it in right up there. All the way across the top, good extra storage here. You can see how nice and big that is. Again, all strut supported, so it's just one hand operation. That entire section there is open. So it gives you a lot of room for, you know, board games or extra bedding, you know, whatever else you want to put up there. But I do like, uh, again, all that extra storage there. Let's take a look at the kitchen. So, uh, you know, in a small space, I think they did a really good job here. What they've done is they gave you a recessed cooktop with the glass cover, and then they gave you a countertop extension right here too, so that way, you know, you do have uh, some definitely some usable prep space. Now, this right here is really easy to use. This just folds back. The glass here creates a nice backsplash too, so that way if you're, you know, cooking, cooking some bacon or something, the glass is nice and easy to uh, wash off. The front burner is high output there, and then you have an oven underneath to do your baking. In case you want to bake cookies, pies, whatever, uh, that's where you do it. Then right underneath, you'll see a nice big storage area. This is probably where I'd put pots and pans. You can see how open that is. Nice big door there as well. And then over to this side here underneath the sink, you see you have storage here too. This is one of the things I love when manufacturers do is not only to give you a dedicated spot for a trash can, but they give you the trash can. That we don't have to go out and try to find one that fits. It's right there, you know where it goes, now you don't have to hang your bags on the poles or anything like that. Then over to this side here you see, this is a smaller uh, little drawer here, but that's because the sink comes down. It's a nice deep bowl, I'll show you in a second. So, you know, they couldn't make this very long, but the one right below it you'll see is quite a bit longer. So if you do have uh, bigger utensils and stuff, they can go right in there. So speaking of that sink, take a look at the sink here. This is a stainless steel bowl, but look how deep it is. So that way if you do have those bigger pots and pans, it'll actually fit in here. You know, you can fit more than two plates into this sink, which I like. And you have a pull-out faucet, which makes it easy to wash and rinse those dishes. Window right behind there, and then you have not one, but two LED lights right up top above the sink. So, you know, if you're uh, doing dishes at night, you can see. And then speaking of LED lights, take a look at this. Above the cooktop, I really like what they've done here. Uh, rather than give you a hood with, you know, the standard dingy light you get in there, they basically have this metal plate, so that way any grease or anything is still nice and easy to clean off. It's not going to mess up your cabinetry. And they give you that LED light, which is nice and bright. So that way when you are cooking, you can actually see what you're doing. Uh, I really like that idea. Directly above that here is your microwave, and then you have storage up top. You have a little bit above the door right here as well as directly above the microwave. Your main control panel is on this side. Uh, you know this has your tank monitoring panel as well as your generator. You can take a look right there. So that's your main panel. Um, you know if you need to know where that is, right down below here, electrical outlet. That's a good spot for it, I think, because that way, you know, if you want to pop up that countertop extension, run a blender, something like that, or when your cooktop, or, you know, when your cover here is down, you can put your uh, coffee maker right back in the corner and plug that in, and then your lights and disconnect are down there, too. The other thing I like that they've done is this right here. They built this little wall up. Far too many times in manufacturers, I see the countertop, especially at a floor plan like this where it's a rear corner bed, they, you know, run your countertop right here. They don't give you anything. I mean, if you're washing dishes and you have water overflow, it's in your bed, not the case here. So, you know, something simple like this, uh, again, you know, just kind of shows that they are uh, actually thinking at the factory. So, uh, good on them. Right here in the corner is your corner bed. So, 
Uh, you know, it's nice and uh, spacious as far as being open. You don't have any shelves or anything you have to worry about bumping into. You have windows on both sides too. So again, uh, helps let in some of that natural light and feel more open and airy. You also have the emergency exit right over here in the side. Up top, they do a good job of giving you a ton of storage. Uh, starting right above the sink here, they give you this nice adjustable shelf. So you can, uh, you know, kind of move that to accommodate whatever you want to put in there. You know, because your cans of Pam and stuff are taller, your cooking spray. And then all along the top of the bed here, you'll see you have great storage there as well. Now, if you want, you can put some folded clothes up here. They do give you a dedicated wardrobe, but, you know, again, that is uh, ample storage. You also have great lighting. You'll see you have a couple LED lights right up by the head of the bed, so you have reading lights. You have four LED lights right here above the bed as well. So that is one thing I really like about the Freedom Elite is it's very well lit. Right in the corner here is your bathroom. Another thing I like they've done, you know, it's nice and simple, but you'll see there's a door stop right there. That way, you know, your door isn't flying open, crashing into your wardrobe, breaking glass, anything like that. Uh, so, you know, I do like the fact that that was installed. Right here, on the back of the door, you have a towel rack. That's really cool too. You know, uh, oftentimes you just get like a simple robe hook, so I do like this. I think this is a much better system because you know, you're probably gonna have more than one towel you're gonna need on there, so good thinking. As we make our way into the bathroom here, You'll see right down here is your porcelain toilet foot flush lever there. Um, you know, just to kind of show you some space, you'll see I have plenty of leg room. Now, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. It is a little tight in here, uh, but honestly, it's not too bad. You know, I still have plenty of room. And what you can do, you know, this is probably what I would do anyway, but you can kind of use the uh, countertop here as an armrest if you have to, if, you know, you do find that it's tight. Uh, but again, you know, I don't think it's too terribly bad. Your toilet paper holder is right off to the side here. So that's nice and easy to get to. You also have an electrical outlet right there, so you have a spot for your curling iron, hair dryer, things like that. You do have a little bit of countertop space here too, so if you need to put like a toothbrush holder there, or you know, uh, your soap, something like that. Stainless steel bowl in here, so nice upgraded bowl. And then underneath you see you have a little bit of storage there, as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that too. Up on the ceiling, you see you have a couple LED lights there, as well as your fan, so you can quickly help moisture escape, and a big skylight here above the shower. I'll stand in the shower just to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot. As you can see, I have plenty of space here in the skylight yet, so if you're six three, six four, you know, you'll still be able to stand in here without crouching down because that is such a tall skylight. Plus, it lets in a lot of natural light. You may have seen that in the video. It probably got a little dark there. Um, but then right up top, or right here, you have your hand wand as well. So this is nice and easy to use. Helps you shower up. The other thing I like about a hand wand too is it makes it a lot easier to clean the shower when you're done using it. Right outside of the bathroom, you have your mirrored wardrobe. So if you take a look up top, you see you have a hanging rod right there. Nice tall wardrobe though, so if you do have longer articles of clothing like long jackets, dresses, things like that, hopefully you know they won't be uh, crumpled up on the bottom there. You have a direct vent furnace right underneath, which honestly in a camper this size, that is more than adequate, especially if you're sleeping at night, it'll keep you nice and toasty. Underneath that, you have this full extension ball bearing drawer. And then underneath that, take a look at this. This is actually one of my, again, one of those little things I really like that they do. You have step lights. You have one here because you have this step coming up into bed. You have another one by the main entrance. And the reason I like that is that's something you can leave on at night. You know, if you get up in the middle of the night, you have to use the bathroom, or maybe you're leaving, you know, going to a friend's campsite and coming back. You don't want to leave all your lights on, just leave those on. You can come in, see what you're doing, make sure you're not tripping over anything. I think that's uh, pretty cool. Right over here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. You open this guy up, you see you have plenty of room there. Cut out here for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. The other thing I like about it is your thermostat's right here on the outside. It's super easy to adjust. You know, you don't have to try to, you know, look inside, play with fins or anything like that. Simply slide this to how cold you want it. And then lastly, right underneath here, you will see you have another large pull-out drawer. Uh, you do have the silverware divider in there, you know, so that's kind of the idea of uh, where they thought the silverware should go. And then you can have, you have plenty of extra room here too. So if you do have, again, some of those bigger utensils, you're able to fit them in there as well. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Freedom Elite 23H. Starting on the chassis here, as I had mentioned inside, this one is on the Ford E350 chassis, which houses a 6.8 liter V10 
putting out 305 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. Right above that, you have this beautiful front cap on here. Gives it a really nice look, helps reduce your chance for leaks, and also adds some extra insulation. The mirrors on here are bi-directional. Now, obviously, they're, they're extended so you can see beyond the house portion. You also have the smaller mirrors there. That way, you can see your blind spots when you're switching lanes. Also helps you see the lines in the road to make sure you're staying within your lane while you are driving. Large power awning on the 23H covers pretty much the entire home portion here. Just touch a button to roll that out and same thing to roll it right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there and an LED light strip underneath. So that way you can have light at night, just a flip of a switch. You don't have to uh, hang up your Christmas lights or anything unless you really want to. You know, maybe you have like small little hot peppers or something that you just can't live without. You can certainly do that as well. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this coach though is this, in my mind, is like the ultimate tailgating coach. The reason I say that is if you look right here underneath the awning space, you don't have any vents, meaning that this whole area right here is excellent camp space. You want to set up a table, hook up some crock, you know, a crock pot, maybe you have a crock pot full of chili, you can certainly do that. You have electrical outlets right here to be able to do so. When we go in the back compartment, I'll show you what makes it even better. Uh, but first, let's continue on here. Right down underneath, propane fill, super easy to get to. Just in case you don't know, if you're ever walking around a coach, you're wondering where your propane is, you can't have a lock on the propane, so uh, you instantly know that that is what that compartment usually houses. Of course, your door right here, nice and easy to get into as well. You do have a grab handle. The steps uh, are built inside on the Freedom Elite. One of the things I do like on the screen portion here, when this is uh, closed, you know, you have your little plastic guard covering it. That way you don't have a bunch of bugs and everything coming in the screen. But you have a handle right here on the outside, so you don't have to move this to be able to get in. You simply have to just hit it just like that. That way you can keep that closed. So uh, again, I do like that portion. The other thing I love about the Freedom Elites is the exterior. If you look at this, this is a beautiful exterior. It has that shine and luster. Uh, this is what they call HD Max fiberglass. And the reason I really love it is it is a colored fiberglass. It's colored all the way through. It has a gel coat on there, which is what helps give it that shine and luster. It gives the appearance and look of full body paint, but for thousands of dollars less. And so the neat thing about it is if you go up against here, you scratch it, you know, the, the scratch isn't nearly as visible as it is on a lot of manufacturers. And you can repair that again for much cheaper than you can with full body paint. Because full body paint, you know, especially if it goes through multiple colors, can get quite pricey to fix. So I love the exterior on here. Let's take a quick look right back here at this compartment. And again, this is uh, the other reason that I love it. And again, call it a tailgating machine. Uh, first off, these latches are really cool. Instead of having a latch you actually have to clip, all you simply have to do is just lift this up, push, it clips right into place. When you're done, just pull it right back down. So you don't, you know, you're not gonna rip any clips or anything out of a wall. When you look in this compartment, look how much space you have. A ton of storage in here. And my favorite part about it, you have the covers. This cover right here is actually an outdoor table. Look at that. So as I said, you call it, you know, I call it a tailgating machine and obviously you can use it for camping as well. But you take this table out, you, you know, I said you want a table for a crock pot, you can set it up right there. You know, maybe you're going tailgating and you want to play, I don't know, beer pong or something. You have a small little table you can set up right there. And then when you take these covers off, look inside here and it's the same thing with this one. You have drain plugs at the bottom of every single one of these. So all you have to do is just unscrew these plugs. You can fill every single one of these compartments with ice and you have giant coolers. You know, set your beverages in there, you have your table set up. Uh, I just love this setup. I think they did a knockout job on the floor plan here. Now when we come around back, you do have a rear mounted ladder that we can climb up onto the roof, nice and easy. It is a fully walkable roof. So if you need to get up there, uh, you know, for any kind of preventative maintenance, which I do recommend doing on every RV, you can simply and easily get up there. Right here in the center, it's kind of tough to see, but you do have a backup camera right there that is built in. You know, it's not some big, obtrusive, ugly thing. Uh, it's nice and, and small and sleek, which I like, and it works wonderfully. Simply put the vehicle in reverse, and that central dash I had showed you inside will be your pa uh, monitor panel, so you can see what's behind you to make sure you're not gonna hit anything, or more importantly, anyone. 
Uh, right down here, you have the nice painted bump around there. Grip strip right here as well. So when you are climbing up on the ladder, especially if it's wet out, you know, you're not gonna slip and hurt yourself. That gives you extra grip on that first step. These end caps do come off, so you can put your sewer hose in there too. This rear compartment right here gets you into that same uh, large storage area I had showed you. So it really makes this compartment nice and easy to get into right there. When we come around to the uh, off door side, couple of cool features over here. Uh, fuel fill will be right over here, nice and simple, 55 gallon fuel tank there. Underneath, we lift this up, you can see your terminations. These are easy to get to as well. You know, you don't have to get on your hands and knees to be able to get them. Flip the door open, you can pull your black, pull your gray right there. And same thing, this does stay open, so you don't have to, you know, hold it open with one arm while trying to get in there. Uh, they just made that as simple as possible. Color matched panels. This is something you don't see very often on manufacturers, you know, especially on a Class C. When you start getting into some of your more expensive, bigger Class A's or, you know, your uh, Class B's, things like that, they'll do stuff like this, but not very often on a Class C. So I love that they color match the panel rather than just leaving it like a, a white or a black. You know, I think that uh, it really, again, shows the amount of uh, care that they're putting in to the Freedom Elite. And this is another thing right here. And, you know, I, I boast about this on every Freedom Elite I go over because I think this is just the coolest thing. And the reason is, is because I've been here, right? Far too often when you have a built-in plug like this, you go to pull it out and always, it's just a knot in there, right? You go to pull it out, you get it about five feet and thump, it stops you. So you have to get in there, you have to dig your hand in, you know, try to be able to undo the knot with one hand. It's just not easy, it's not fun. So what they've done is they give you an outside door here. So simply all I have to do is unlock this, you can flip it up. Now you can get in there, you can undo the knot, makes it super easy. And that wraps up today's review of the 2018 Thor Freedom Elite 23H. Thanks for watching, I'm Ian Baker. And remember folks, it's a beautiful world out there. Let's go camping.